Health Sciences Division offers a variety of associate degree programs. We offer one entry level medical assisted clinical certificate program and a variety of advanced specialty programs. So once the students have met their application criteria for their intended program, they will contact Health Sciences Admissions to schedule an appointment to come in to apply to their intended program. Students will be able to schedule an appointment using a portal. They would choose a time that they would like to come to uh, attend an application session. Once the health science admissions specialist verified they had met the requirements, they will get a confirmation in email stating that yes, you could come to an application um, session and give them the time and location. We used to meet with people one-on-one -on -one individually, but with the amount of people that we do see, we just physically can't see everyone. So we put them into fairly small groups and we meet and we're able to review their information, their coursework, um, let them see their points there that we use for our admissions um, process and do their application and ask questions and address anything one-on-one -on -one that we need to before or after the session. So they do get that one-on-one -on -one, but um, we do kind of try to put it together so it's a little bit more efficient for, for all of us. Another feature that we're trying to streamline is in order for them to have the capability to upload documents so that they could keep track of missing items that um, they need to complete their application folder. Fax machines were great when they first came out and mail was great and it served us well but to be able to do it electronically and it just cuts out some of those what ifs and some of the accidents and some of the things that can happen to documents. Basically kind of a checklist for them and say, oh, we have your transcripts in, we have your minimum requirements for your coursework, um, if they have CPR required, we have your CPR card. Um, those kinds of things where they can just look and see and it's a reminder to them when they go in there, oh, I need to do that before the deadline. Normally we get a lot of phone calls checking to see if we receive certain information and if they could go and sign up to the portal, they would see exactly information that we still need to complete their application folder. It'll make it more immediate and um, hopefully clearer for them and they're gonna be able to visibly see where they may have something that they need to get in um, so they don't, again, make a mistake that may cost them the opportunity to get into the program they want to and just assures them if they're already nervous, you know, it's a, it's a nerve-wracking process to apply to a program you're wanting to get into and to have that, to be assured that your information is there um, just makes it a little bit easier for everybody. Just seeing students walking in um, calling constantly and seeing if we receive their information. This would help our staff um, to continue to get everything in order to meet deadlines so we do not have to stop and track and see if um, the information is in a student folder. So now the students will be able to um, check their self and see what they're missing. So I am looking forward to this new initiative. And lastly, um, the uh, verif acceptance verification or notification will be sent to their MyPitCC student email account. We'll be able to communicate through reports that we'll be able to pull with our faculty um, and the program directors. So all those things are going to be easier. And probably one of the best things for, for myself, um, the thing I like the most is the possibilities of the ways we're going to be able to communicate with the applicants. Um, we're going to be able to really keep them more updated and it's not as labor intensive for us where we just couldn't do it before. This way we're going to be able to you know, hit a button and let all the applicants for one single program know and, and be updated with the information that they need they need to know. It's not going to be just a quick changeover. We will remind students, um, let them know about the different streamlined process so they will be familiar of not being able to check the mail any longer, that they will be able to see it, their student email and um, everything like that. They will be able to get it quicker so it's going to be easier that way and faster. What I enjoyed, um, seeing them getting excited about their uh, program of interest. And going to the graduation ceremony and actually seeing them walking across that stage with their diploma, that what gives me joy for um, coming to work every day.
Career Services is really broken up into three separate entities. You know, we all work together, but we each have our focuses. As career outreach specialists, we focus on career outreach. So we want to connect employers to our students. It helps our students to be competitive in the workforce, and it helps them really set themselves apart. You know, not only are they getting the technical skills in the classroom, but we're also getting information on job trends. We're also getting specific information about what employers are looking for. I decided to enroll in Pitt Community College for the Building Construction Technology Program and it kind of all took off from there. We're fortunate enough to have two of our former PCC grads work for DR Horton. I think the students really enjoyed hearing from him not only because of the opportunities with DR Horton, but because he's been in their shoes. You know, he went through the program, he experienced everything that they're going through now and they found him really relatable and I think it helped give the students um, a brighter perspective on what to expect when they leave PCC. We're excited to come here now because we know that there are true diamonds, there are gems at the community college level that are going to be very successful. You just got to go out and find them. So uh, I have a funny feeling that you'll see D.R. Horton at Pitt Community College's job fairs are, are here recruiting um, every year as long as we have an opportunity. The main message we want to convey is that if employers want to interact with our students, we are more than happy to explore any opportunity. So if they just want to come and take a tour of campus and see what the facilities are like, they can do that. If they want to speak to a class and talk to them about their company and just market their business or their product, we can do that as well. So we're open to having our employers engage with students. So we are utilizing the lounge space in GOES for employers to come and meet one-on-one -on -one with students in a more informal, intimate setting. So employers are able to set up any marketing materials, talk to students about any open job opportunities that they may have. But even if they don't have any open jobs, you know, they can talk to students about internship and work-based learning opportunities. They can really just help brand their company so that when students finish school, they have an idea a better idea of what these companies are offering. Opportunities at Pitt Community College with students here at Pitt Community College on the DR Horton level is very, you know, on the forefront now. Uh, Pitt Community College between myself and Patrick have already had two successful hires in this program. One runs all of operations in Columbia, the other one is the purchasing manager for the Carolinas Division. And they're starting to realize that we came out of programs like Pitt Community College. We've gotten nothing but positive feedback about how competent our students are in the workplace. Anytime an employer has an open position and they want to reach out to us, you know, obviously we want to funnel those opportunities to the appropriate faculty so that they can get their students, you know, in touch with those employers. But we also like to tour the facilities and see what type of environment that our students are going to be working in. Even in December, we did a more focused departmental career fair for CIT. It was specifically for our construction students and our architectural students and it was hugely successful. I mean we had over 100 percent participation which I didn't even know was possible but someone through word of mouth heard about it and they ended up just coming on the day of and I think the students really got a great experience because they were able to meet employers that were specifically tailored to their major and it was a more informal setting and they felt more comfortable about approaching these employers about opportunities and I mean the employers had a great time I've gotten very positive feedback from that and based on that event we've had other divisions want to do the same thing so we're looking at more you know focused career fairs for specific majors in the future as well. We've also been partnering with our early college high school to get them involved at an early level since their program is more STEM focused to get them more involved with local manufacturers, you know, um, biotechnical companies, things like that, that they may not be clear on what those companies do. So that's another way that we do outreach as well. As a former college student, and the opportunities weren't really available for someone to ensure that I had access to these employers and I think it's really important for our students to know that we see the value in them, we know what their potential is, and we just got to get them in front of an employer.